Together, they've allowed fewer points than 11 entire teams. Thus, their season-ending showdown offered relaxed veterans a chance to reminisce on successful seasons. Chuck Knoll's defending Super Bowl champions opened their season with a 38 to nothing thrashing of the hapless San Diego Chargers. But Knoll's concerns soon focused on the inconsistency of quarterback Terry Bradshaw, who early in the season showed signs of regaining his dubious rookie year form. In week two, the Buffalo Bills soundly defeated the Steelers, turning Pittsburgh mistakes into touchdowns and running up 434 yards of total offense, the most ever against a Pittsburgh Steeler team. Meanwhile, Bradshaw stumbled, bumbled and fumbled away every Steeler possession. But Bradshaw spent the next 11 weeks redeeming himself, climbing to the top of the AFC passing chart. And through it all, a well-defined pattern emerged. Bradshaw to Lynn Swan, the NFL's most productive passing combination, accounted for 11 touchdowns. Swan's sure-handedness and precise patterns helped Bradshaw slice his previous year's interception total in half, as Terry enjoyed his finest season as a pro. And in crucial games, Bradshaw and Swan collaborated to ice away Pittsburgh's rugged Central Division foes. Not to be outdone, fullback Franco Harris rushed for a career-high 1,246 yards, ripping apart the conference's leading rushing defenses. Though the Steeler offense stole the spotlight this past season, the famed Steel Curtain continued to perform with its customary brutal effectiveness. The curtain fell hard on rival pass pockets, while middleman Jack Lambert refined his rookie season's aggressiveness into stellar defensive play. Elsewhere, a concentration of all pros on Pittsburgh's left flank took away the right sideline from opponents' game plans. An assortment of injuries reduced the front four to a front one, but Steeler defensive depth surfaced as the defending champs avenged their loss to Buffalo with an 11-game win streak. Out in Los Angeles, a winning football family breezed to the NFC Western Division title. The formula? Defense. Last year, the formidable Ram hitmen allowed the fewest points and fewest touchdowns in all of football. This year, no exception. Following an opening day loss to the Cowboys, the Rams won their next half dozen games. While their offense struggled through difficult times, the Ram defense continued to destroy one enemy game plan after another. Frustrating. No better word to describe the feeling of trying to sustain a drive against Los Angeles' relentless and dogged defensive pursuit. In the absence of a big play offense, the Rams spawned a big play defense as linebacker Isaiah Robertson played the most consistent football of his career. Week in, week out, the Ram defense stifled all opposition. Still, Ram fans expressed concern over Los Angeles' lackluster attack, which for one reason or another never seemed too sure of itself. When the Army falters, blame the general, and many pointed to quarterback James Harris as the weak link in an otherwise sturdy offensive chain. Following a mid-season loss to arch-rival San Francisco, Harris rediscovered his form, and the Ram offense joined its outstanding defense en route to a seven-game win streak. Harris finished a solid third in NFC passing statistics, and his late-season surge propelled the Rams to nearly 200 points in the season's second half.
Two weeks ago, Harris sustained a mysterious shoulder injury. So against the world champion Steelers, second-year pro Ron Jaworski generaled the Ram offense on one beautiful scoring drive in a grueling defensive struggle. Down where the yardage gets tough, Jaworski tallied the game's only touchdown. Jaworski's well-executed quarterback draw caught the Steelers napping and proved the margin of victory in a 10-3 Los Angeles win. True, the touchdown came against many of Pittsburgh's second unit defenders, while Steeler quarterback Terry Bradshaw sat out the second half. Nonetheless, the Ram victory over Pittsburgh elevated Los Angeles into the playoff limelight. But a big question still clouded their postseason chances.